Hey guys, Tony here. Welcome back to another room tour. In this video, we're gonna take a look at an incredible home theater in Western Australia, which features a Crick speaker setup with a 9.4.6 channel count and is a completely ground up design and installation. The room's owner's name is Darren, and he had a dream for many years to build his home theatre, and when he got in touch with Josh from Hi-Fi Hunter, they came up with a plan. And while it may have taken most of this year for design and planning, it's now finally complete. I'd like to thank my good friend Marty, who's also part of the Build Montage Room Tour family, for going to visit Darren and for filming the room for me. Anyway guys, now would be a great time to hit that like button for me, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already, as we dive into Darren's home theatre tour. So the main objective with this project was to design and build a high-end, modern and concealed home theater. Built to the highest standards while keeping things like speakers and equipment from view, with all elements of the room working together. Part of the design and build process by Hi-Fi Hunter was the consultation with their interior designer to make sure that all technical requirements were met without any compromise to the streamlined look and feel of the room. A big part of the design consideration was the front of the room, with custom-built AV cabinets and wall units to house all of the equipment and the extensive Blu-ray collection which has built-in LED lights. These cabinets were designed and built by the team at Hi-Fi Hunter and are also concealed so they hide away during movie time. The dimensions of the room are 5.8 meters long by 4.4 meters wide and 2.7 meters high with a bulkhead built out with a light trough to fit LED strips in for concealment and also a space for the acoustic star ceiling. The room was designed around the two middle seats with the other two seats being rarely used. The seats are the Row 1 Evolution chairs with all of the usual features you get these days such as cup holders, adjustable recline and finished in leather perfect for movie time. There was already an existing step in the room, so the position of the main seating was predetermined and the decision was made to have cabinetry with a bar instead of a second row of seating. Darren has an awesome whiskey collection on display and the bar is a nice touch to the theater room. There is also a Riga Planar 3 turntable that is connected to the Control 4 and played on speakers throughout the home. There was a window which was insulated then patched and painted with the rest of the room. A lot of work went into the fabric wall panels and acoustic treatment for the room with 100mm deep acoustic fabric framing integrating the 50mm thick acoustic panels which minimized the amount of space taken in the room while also giving the polish finish that Darren was after. Even the surround speakers are concealed within the four wall pillars which are covered with acoustic material. The fabric panel system is completely removable allowing for access to the speakers and cabling as well. For automation control we have control 4. This went beyond just the theatre room and the decision was made to automate the whole home at the same time. There are motion sensors which set the lighting scene as you enter the room and when a movie or Netflix is selected the equipment automatically sets up and the lights dim slowly. The control 4 keypad on the wall provides one touch setup for the room ready to play a movie or power off as you leave and there is a lighting control for the wall lights, down lights, star ceiling and the RGB feature lighting. For the projector we have the BenQ X12000H paired with a Panamorph anamorphic lens. The X12000H is an LED projector which produces incredible light, brightness and detail and the Panamorph utilizes the full resolution and brightness of the projector for movie viewing. The screen was custom made by Hi-Fi Hunter using a high gain woven acoustic material to provide the best audio transmissibility for the front speakers while also maintaining great video performance. There is also a Lumigen processor added to the projection system to handle the HDR tone mapping and the ISF LUT calibration which also elevates the performance of this setup. For high quality UHD playback we have the Panasonic DP UB9000 which is a fantastic UHD player I have experienced many times and for streaming there is a Shield TV Pro. The Storm Audio 24 channel ISP Mark II was selected for processing to deliver quality and channel count required for a minimum 9.4.6 channel system. The processing power and active crossovers in the Storm allowed use of Crick's theatrics as left, center and right speakers. 
These are a three-way configuration with a mid-range horn and the aim to increase accuracy in the front stage's mid-range vocal production. Using two Emotiva XPA3 amplifiers to run them in bi-amp mode at 550 watts RMS per speaker, the end result was even better than they expected. The theatrics are a sight to behold, a very unique looking speaker, and I'll leave links to cricks.com.au if you'd like to check out the specs. Hyperphonics 45s were selected to match the six bed layers and six overhead speakers, each being able to be precisely angled to the main listening position, which helps create an immersive sound bubble. The versatility of the Hyperphonics 45 allows it to be positioned vertically or horizontally, as well as angled in an overhead position or for front wides. So powering the speakers, we have the following configuration with two image Emotiva XPA3 channel for bi-amping the front speakers, Emotiva XPA5 and 7 channel amplifiers running the surrounds and the Atmos speakers. All of the equipment is housed in a huge Sanus AV rack with some neat cable management and cooling with a Thor power station for power filtering. The acoustic starlight ceiling was installed by the team at Hi-Fi Hunter and with the speakers mounted flush to the surface and perfectly angled towards the main listening position. For LFE, Darren has selected four of the RHEL 15 inch Predator subwoofers to to provide a clean, tight bass response. We have two in the front between the LCR and two at the back under the bar with the doors covered by an acoustic transparent material. After chatting to my good friend Marty, he said that it was an amazing experience. The sound system is powerful, punchy and dynamic but not fatiguing and very comfortable to listen to at any level. The acoustic design and treatment in the room let the speakers run incredibly efficiently. The key here is low distortion. The Storm XT Up Mixer utilizes all speakers even when content doesn't allow for it to create an immersive 3D audio space on all content. The Lumigen's auto aspect ratio feature means that the image is perfectly aligned to the screen no matter the aspect ratio of the content. Darren loves the non-linear aspect function which lets him watch 16x9 content in full cinemascope width. The room's look, design and acoustics make the room itself feel comfortable, calm and inviting. As soon as you enter the room, it sets the theme to automated lighting ready for a movie, forgetting about the outside world, creating a fully immersive cinema experience. So guys, make sure you show Darren some love for his theater room by smashing that like button for him and I'd also like to thank him for allowing me to share it with the community. I'd also like to thank Marty for filming for me and sharing his experiences so that I could make the tour, as well as Josh from Hi-Fi Hunter for giving me all of the background information information about the project. I know from talking to Josh that this room's design and build was a real passion project for him and you can see the attention to detail in the finish. I have links to Josh and Hi-Fi Hunter in Perth down in the description below so make sure you check it out if you're interested. If you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe to the channel as I have more home theatre content coming. But that's it for this one, you'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.